Last time at Camp Wanastay. I'm Scout Miller. Ziggy. I'm actually the captain of our trip this year. It sounds like it's gonna be a day at camp with no, no adults. adults. I can't do this. Did it. Whoa, <laughs> interesting hairstyle, Director Dan. So Jesus wants leaders to look for ways to serve others? I think you'd be great helping out with the s'mores. Okay, oh, what do I need to do? I actually had fun getting everything ready. Way to step it up and lead today, Siegfried. Good Ziggy. Oh, sorry, Ziggy. Those ready raccoons are going down. Cleaned up. Just didn't sleep very well, and now breakfast is closed. Oh good, just the two I was looking for. Hey mom. Hey. So the talent show is today, and we're asking all of the troops to pitch in and help with it. And I need you two to be in charge of the backdrop. <gasps> oh wow, sure. Yeah, okay. Great, thank you both. Oh, Ziggy, I almost forgot. This came for you in the mail. Thanks. You may not know this yet, but I've actually won the talent show the last three years in a row. So if I win this year, the Ready Raccoons may end up being in second place, which is like, well, huge, considering we haven't won the weasel in, well, you know, decades. Pita to the cone! For breakfast? Never tried it, but maybe it's good. I guess you just put the ice cream on top of the peanuts in a waffle cone? No, my dog, Peanut. You have a dog? Yeah, just the best dog in the entire world. Whoa, why is he in a cone? My mom says he has a bad ear infection. Oh, poor little peanut. This is the worst day ever. Let's head to archery for skills. Then after that, we can work on the backdrop for the talent show. Oh, that sounds miserable. Why did your mom even ask us to do that? What's with you, Ziggy? I don't know, Scout. Why don't you try being happy when you've only had two hours of sleep and no breakfast? Bullseye! You'll get it, keep trying. I was 
was aiming for that one. Hey, looking good, guys. Looking good, guys. Wow, Ziggy, I know you're having a bad day, but... Attention, campers. The Lazy River and Slip and Slides are open during free time today. Happy floating. I love Slip and Slides. Finally, something that will make my day a little better. A lazy river sitting in an inner tube with a comic book. Sounds like my kind of camp activity. But remember, we've got to work on the backdrop before anything else. I mean, sure, I'd really like to do the slip and slide and I need to practice my talent, but I told my mom I would do this first. Oh no! What? My hot dog gibbet is missing. Can things get any worse? Uh, I don't see it, but I'm sure it'll turn up. Let's try to get the backdrop done and then we can look around camp for it. All right, will you grab those big paint brushes for me? I'm really not in the mood for this. I know, I'm but... tired from being up half the night and I've had a bad day. I missed breakfast, completely failed at archery. My hot dog gibbet is missing. Oh, and have you forgotten about Peanut? We've just got to make the best of it. It'll probably be fun once we start. Get on your feet, campers. Strike a pose like the one you see on screen. See if you can freeze and hold it before it's time for the next one. It's time to sing. We are young, we are young, we will lead the way. Show the world, show the world, we are here to stay. We are young, we are young, we will lead the way. Show the world, show the world, we are here to stay. Set an example. And I'm answering questions right We confess we are blessed by the hands of Christ Trying to be a lighthouse, not a candlelight huh. So we new kids springing up Show the world with this news that we bringing up Dudes are confused cause we usually sing it But it's all about God Set an example trust. By what you say By what you say Singing, you can take a seat. How's it going over there? Swimmingly. And speaking about swimming, I'd much rather be at that lazy river right about now. This is going to look even better than I thought it would. And once we finish, I should have just enough time to get my cups ready and practice too. Oh, good. What are the cups for again? My talent. I play songs by spinning my finger on the rims. It's harder than you might think. The trick is really to have enough water and then... You hey guys, it. how's it going? Hey, great. Can't wait for you to see how it turns out. Paging Summer. Summer here. Skunk! On my way. I've got to go. But if you guys could set the backdrops up once they dry, that would be great. Uh, yeah, sure, Mom. We're happy to. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Can't wait to see the finished product. 
Can't wait to see the finished product. Wow, Ziggy. Oh, I'm never gonna get to that lazy river. Let the Wanna Stay Weasel Talent Show begin! Uh, our first act is, is Theo Zimmerman from the Ready Raccoons playing the bugle. of the Ants Go Marching with Cup Scout. And now for our final act, we have a shadow puppet show from some more of our Ready Raccoons. Long ago, there was a boy named David who showed respect to his father by taking care of his family's sheep. Here you go, sheep. Eat some food. Bah. One day, David's dad asked him to bring his brother some food. You see, there were soldiers in the king's army and they were getting ready to fight the Philistines. David showed respect again by doing what his father asked. When he got to the army camp, he overheard a Philistine giant named Goliath making fun of God's people. Goliath was daring someone to come out and fight against him. Ha ha ha, you guys are wimps. I dare someone to come and fight me. This made David so mad. How could they let Goliath get away with disrespecting God and calling God's people names? David told the Israelites, We can't just let Goliath make fun of us. I will go and fight the giant. Some of the other soldiers overheard David and took him to see the king. The king couldn't believe what David said. What made this young shepherd boy think he could fight a giant? The king told David, You can't go out and fight. You're not even a soldier. Goliath has been fighting in wars for longer than you've been alive. David knew that his age and size didn't matter. What mattered was that God was on his side. Every time David showed respect, he was becoming a better leader. God had prepared David for this moment. David decided to fight that mean old giant with only a slingshot and a few small stones. As he got closer to Goliath, the giant kept saying disrespectful things to David. When I'm finished with you, I'll feed you to the birds and wild animals. You're dead meat. Goliath, you might be a giant and have a sword to fight me, but God is on my side and he is worthy of respect. My God is bigger than anything, even you. As Goliath came towards him, David took out a stone, put it in his sling and launched it at Goliath. The stone hit him so hard that he fell to the ground. Ah! Because David was a leader who showed respect, he was prepared to fight and defeat Goliath. God rewarded David for showing respect by making him a hero. Thank you, God, for helping me beat Goliath. Great job, campers. That story is one of my favorites. And fun fact, David went on to become the king of Israel. We can all learn a lot from David's example of what it means to be a leader. So that concludes this year's talent show. Best one yet in my opinion. I'll see you all at the Snack Shack for our post talent show ice cream extravaganza. Hey. Hey, congratulations. You did good up there. And more points for the raccoons, huh? Thanks, yeah. I can't believe we're actually catching up to the porcupines. You don't want a Sunday? I thought you always celebrated with ice cream. I don't know. Kind of feel like I don't deserve it today. What do you mean? It's just that, well, after that story the campers told, you know, the one about David, it made me realize how disrespectful I've been today. I was rude to your mom and I did a bad job with my side of the backdrop because I wanted to go to the lazy river. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I didn't show anybody respect during the talent show. I guess I was so grumpy because everything kept going wrong today. But 
that's no excuse for how I acted. So no ice cream for me. Yeah, you weren't very respectful today, but we all mess up sometimes. You didn't know. You wanted to go to the slip and slides, but you had a great attitude with your mom and did your best on the backdrop. Look, Siggy, I've been disrespectful plenty of times, but once I realize what I've done wrong, I try to make it right. And you can make this right. Really? How? Well, giving up ice cream won't fix things, but it would help to tell my mom you're sorry. You don't think she's mad? Not mom, she's pretty forgiving. And she's heard lots of sorries from me over the years. Trust me. Okay, let's go find her. I wanna make things right. Okay. Ew, Scout! What, what's wrong? You have snot or something on your shirt. Ugh, it's been everywhere. Oh, do you need a tissue? No, it's slime. Our cabin was pranked this morning. Whoa, and I thought I had a bad day. You know who did it? I'm thinking the porcupines, but I'm not sure. I can be a leader who shows respect. Let's memorize this verse together. Don't let anyone make fun of you just because you are young. Set an example for other followers by what you say and do. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. See if you can remember the words hidden in the night sky. Don't let anyone make... Don't let anyone make fun of you just because you are... Just because you are young. Set an... Set an example for other followers by what you by what you say and do. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Great job, campers. Tracker in training. We're on the search for a wild animal that's been seen around camp. Answer these questions for clues to help us find the animal. In today's episode, what did Ziggy learn he needed to show? Respect or patience? You got it. Ziggy was disrespectful all day at camp, but then he saw that leaders show respect. Here's the first clue. Whose scat is that? To get another clue, answer the next question. In today's Bible story, who did David respect? Right, David respected his father, and because he did, God was preparing him for something great, defeating Goliath. Listen up, which animal makes this sound? Getting close. Answer one last question to get your final clue, true or false? We should only show respect when we have a really good day. False, we can be leaders who show respect whether we're having a good day or a not so good day. Here's a track to follow. Which animal is it? It's a bear. Great job, trackers. Now, let's thank God for all he has taught us today. Everyone, bow your heads, close your eyes, and pray with me. Hey God, thank you for showing us that you want to grow us as leaders. Help us to always be leaders who show respect. We love you. Amen.